for watching Matters and Extra. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Enjoy. Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So with Amazon Prime Day just been and gone, I took advantage of the office and got a uh, Fire Stick TV, the 4K. I think it's not just importantly 4K, but the U HDR colouring is actually very important too. But enough about that. It's not really about that. So yeah, so I bought a uh, Fire Stick here, brand new, arrived this morning. So this is opening up. Got a seal across. Actually, the first time I've seen this, this is quite good. I know it's due to the video, but look at that. So I think to make it easy to undo. Wow. So that's a good start. Okay, so here we go. Open the box up. So what we got. All folded neatly for a little while. Oh, I have to be careful. I don't want it falling out. Okay, so we got one, two, three different instructions. We also have one USB cable, pretty standard. We've got a uh, adapter which is looks like a HDMI USB, no, sorry, HDMI adapter one there. It's weird actually because you've got a HDMI, oh, suss that out in a minute. <laughs> uh, batteries, controller obviously, one plug. One controller. Let's take the controller out of its packet. Yeah, it's got the instructions in the back there for the battery. Get off the top. Fills. It is quite light and cheap, but it's a controller. It's more to me. Um, obviously, with the voice one you have got a voice button so you can actually ask it to find fast forward pause rewind uh looks like you've got a back button home button search fast forward pause and a mute button okay and here's the fire stick itself so uh, i often wonder whether it's worth getting one of these we've all got apps on smart tvs grammars and things like that and so I purchased it because I was looking up so many really positive things. It's quite heavy, not too bad. You've got the U HDMI bit at the back there, USB there. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to set this all up and then I'll show you what I think. Okay, so one controller, put the batteries in and that was push up, slide for the batteries to go in there. Uh, the extender, this extender is supposed to help with performance, uh, Wi Fi, uh, remote. So I've plugged it in. Obviously, it's choice whether to or not, but I'll put it in there. Obviously, just plug. So, yeah, that's it all put together. So, I'm going to plug it into the TV and I'll show you what we get. I'm not going to go through this and we'll go through the, uh, the setup and see what we get. Okay, so we can see here it's coming up in foreign language, that's why I set the camera up, it was doing that by itself. So we did say you push the home button for about 10 seconds. So let's do that. Okay, so here we go. Play to start. Uh, we're in the United Kingdom. Now, we're network connection successful. Checking for updates. So it's registered. Okay. Uh, continue. Parental guide, whether you want it or not. We're okay in that circumstances, so that's fine. Preparing for your remote setup. I did expect it to ask for my Wi-Fi. Hasn't done that yet, as you can see. Oh, right, okay. Um, Optical. Oh, up 
talking down. Yeah, I'm using the speaker. So we're just going to say yes to that. Welcome because to a new Fire TV Stick 4K. Fire TV Stick 4K connects you to a world of entertainment and gives you a more cinematic video experience with access to movies and TV shows in 4K Ultra HD, HDR and Dolby Vision. Yes, Dolby the Vision, TV both. Home screen, easily access your apps and channels or browse recommendations. Quickly find your favourites from Netflix, Prime Video and more. Fire TV Stick 4K comes with a next generation Alexa voice remote. Control the power and volume of your compatible TV, soundbar and receiver with dedicated buttons. Simply press the microphone button and ask Alexa to find, launch and control content like this. Alexa, find comedies. Alexa, watch Paddington 2. Alexa, skip ahead two minutes. My other Alexa's going a bit funny. TV Stick 4K and Echo device in the Alexa app. You can ask Alexa to play, search, and control movies and TV shows hands-free. Alexa, play Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan on Fire TV. It's good one, Noah. What's that one? Alexa is always getting smarter. With thousands of skills, you can ask Alexa for your flash briefing, get sports scores, check the weather, or control compatible smart home devices like this. Alexa, show the nursery. Take your TV experience even further with Amazon Prime. Members get access to thousands of popular movies and TV shows. Prime members can also stream millions of songs ad-free from their TV. All that, plus unlimited one-day delivery. Yes, yes, yes. We're we'll going to enter it now. First on the new Fire TV Steam 4K. I don't know yet. So there's your intro video. We really are going into this, aren't we? Uh, let's choose some apps. Uh, Disney Life. Yeah, we'll, we'll add that. iPlayer. ITV. I'm not sure what TV is. We're, I'm going to add most of these. Um, I'm not too interested in some of these others. That one interesting. Okay, I'm just going to add down for now. I'm sure we can come back. Okay, so it did say apps be downloaded. So there we go. There's our intro. Your videos. I guess this is already linked to my account because when it arrived I didn't really have to do anything <laughs> and it's obviously all signed me in and everything else already uh, so it's got me apps yeah there we go um, yeah there's the others down there so there we go um, YouTube So it's probably just downloading everything. So anyway, so yeah, there, there's general ideas. Fire Stick TV from the Amazon. Uh, let's just let's just try something. YouTube. Yeah, there you go. This speech works. Now let's try. I've got another Lexus sitting right next to me. He's using. I'm not going to push the button. Let's just go. Um, Alexa, fire launch YouTube on Fire TV. Sorry, I don't know that one. <laughs> I'm trying to figure my words. Um, Alexa, launch YouTube on Fire TV. Getting YouTube from Fire TV. There you go. See, it does work. But anyway, so there we go. So there's Fire TV. Hey. Okay, so it hasn't really taken me long at all to get the hang of this. Uh, yeah, from the home page here. And I'm literally talking like 15, 20 minutes after I've even done this. 
I'm just going to take you over across here though to the settings location your network your display it's worth taking a look in your display uh, displays obviously you can make sure it's worth setting up as your 4k if you've got the 4k there obviously you have got the Hertz but automatic 4k worth doing and I also noticed this one uh, the color depth of 12 bit it was originally set at 8 so again it might be worth seeing whether your TV supports a higher bit rate in the color the color format again you can change that but it's automatic and again down here the HDR and the high dynamic range settings again it's to me personally it's always worth making sure it's turned on because then you're always going to know you're going to get the full benefit of it of course you do need a HDR TV for that of course same as your audio just set it really as the best that is available so it is worth checking these out and you've got your other equipment remote controls you have a Lexus uh, things like that so it's worth having a little look into your uh, settings here as well so uh, there we go so yeah I just thought I'd show you that and uh, take you back home and obviously I have actually downloaded like the apps uh, you know, Disney Life which is like a Disney subscription we're not going to go into all that that is like a, a Disney subscription I believe so yeah you go into the apps it's a lot more in here than the first set up you know just going through eSports games new releases so there's a lot more also um, I think it's found things like music fireplaces you've got health and fitness uh, earth can TV yeah that's pretty good you know if you want to like watch live cameras uh, now 80s NASA you know club down I know you can get these lot of these on your TV things anyway but it's good to have some of these in the wrong, wrong place so it's worth checking out the apps home yeah all works but anyway so yeah so this is a fire stick a 4k version there we go and uh, I'm gonna try and enjoy when I can that's the trouble finding time for all this stuff <laughs> but if you get one enjoy and uh, yeah I think it's worth investing if you've got 4k in HDR purely because you know you're gonna get the higher quality especially with Amazon I believe like winter time or begin next year gonna start showing more football and things like that as well so uh, what would cost you in a subscription is gonna be worked out pretty good if you really work out but anyway thank you very much everyone you take care and uh, if you can please like and subscribe thank you